Hello and welcome to the first episode of the My Little Pony Vectoring is Magic series. I don't know if we'll keep that name or not. My name is Orange L, and well, let's start with an introduction episode about what is this series about. This series is about you, the WA viewer, learning about vectoring, because I know a lot of you out there want to know how to vector, but you can't under, you can't figure it out. Uh, you don't know how to do it. You you know you open up Inkscape or Photoshop, and it, it's you don't know what's going on. What's with these tools over here? Which ones do I use? Do I use the paintbrush? Do I just paint it on? But you don't know. So this entire series is dedicated to teaching you how to vector. Now, I'm going to be using Photoshop to show you how to vector. Well, first, let's go back. What are vectors? Vectors are not like rasterized images where you take, you know, an image, you take an image, and it, you, you blow it up, and it's all fuzzy. Like, you know, you see it's all fuzzy. And when you vector, you can take an image, and you can blow it up, I don't know, 300 times, and let it load, and it maintains the same quality. It, what it is, it's a series of, of points and lines that the, a computer can use, or anything can use, to keep a shape inside of an image. It's not like a normal raster image where if you try to enlarge it, it just gets blurry. Or if you know if you try to minimize it, it gets blurry too. So a vector image, you can change the size, manipulate it however you want, and it'll keep its size because it uses a series of points and lines like you know you did in math. And they, they maintain the size and shape unless you, you know, intentionally resize them. So that's a vector. And you see vectors everywhere. You see them like on t-shirts, you see them on uh, you know. My Little Pony, uh, they use Flash, but they still use vectors, and that's why you can see some of those animation errors, like uh, Derpy Hooves, Rain, uh, uh, you know, Cyclops. Those are those are animation errors, you know, usually vector errors. So, what we're going to learn to do in this series is vector traces, which is where you take a picture, you know, you can grab it from an episode, Grab from an episode, blow it up, and you know, slowly add trace trace it using uh, vector tools to get a pretty picture. Like if you notice this one, look how how much sharper the image is. That's the whole point of vectoring. Is if you like a scene and it gets blurry like this, you don't like it's all blurry. You use vectors to get it. You know nice and clean. So, you know, here's Twilight being drunk and you take that. Now, why can't I see that? There you go. Nice and clean. So that's vector tracing. That's what we'll be talking about in this series. And you can see vector tracing everywhere, like on Devi DeviantArt. People trace all the time, go to the Vector Club. Let's talk about the series now. So this entire series, I'll be using Photoshop CS5 to teach you how uh, vectoring goes. Um, if you want to use Inkscape, I'm pretty sure most of the things I'll be doing will be covered in Inkscape. Like, it'll be very similar to Inkscape. If not, you can head it over to our subreddit, uh, r slash mlp vectors and we have a couple experts there who know a couple things about uh inkscape i don't know much about inkscape I, i'm a photoshop guy and you'll see why i like photoshop because it is it's even though it's not free like inkscape it has so much more capability when you're doing vectors and i'll be using my tech i'll be teaching you guys my techniques about vectors and if you have your own techniques you can leave them in the comments you know you can you can also go to the subreddit tell people what techniques you use but so to start we're gonna use this vector here to teach you about the certain basics of vectors and that will be in next the next episode but this is it for this introductory episode introductory if you have any ideas or questions or comments, or if you have, if you want to see something done in the series, go ahead and leave a comment below or in the subreddit, and I will see if I can make an episode on that.
But so that's the series. And we hope you enjoy it. Any questions, just leave them in the comments below. And the next episode will be basics in vectoring. I will teach you how to use the pen tool correctly and how to start vectoring ponies with the strokes. Look how sad she is. Strokes. These are the main components of a vector. But for now, this is the end of the introduction episode. I'm Orange L, and this is the MLP Vectoring is Magic series. See you in the next episode.